What is going on guys? So Rocky Raccoon is only four more days away. It's coming up on Saturday. Today I want to talk to you about what shoe am I going to wear for my second official 100k attempt. So in my previous races I've been doing, I've been trying out a bunch of different shoes. So I've tried out these Ultra Superior. I'm pretty sure they're called Ultra Superior. Ultra Superior. I've tried out these. These are my Nike trail pegasus threes also some shoes i have and i also have these these are my zero shoes i forget the name of these shoes but these are the zero shoes super minimalist shoes and i've run over at rocky raccoon i actually did them in beaver and five fingers before and you know what it wasn't the greatest experience just because those roots over there really took a toll on me so i do need a little bit of protection and these while they are shoes they do have some protection there is no toe cap in here so i won't be wearing the zero shoes for my main shoe i might actually bring this for a secondary shoe if my other shoes don't work for me so these are my other two shoes that i have left the ultra superior and the nike pegasus trill threes and you know i wore this ultra superior during my mission tejas 50k and I had to take them off. I had to take them off and switch to some other shoes because right here, if you guys can see, let's see if I can take my face out of there. But if you guys can see right here where there's some toe protection, that right there actually forms a little bit of an indentation. So if you guys can see this indentation right there, what happened for me during the race, my toe would actually go above it and then catch it and then it would pull my toe up. And it would do that so much that eventually, like the 20th or 50th or 60th time that it did it, it started really, really hurting. Like I was in pain every time it did it. So I was like, I can't run in these shoes anymore. And I don't think I'll ever run in these shoes again just because it has the edge that's really, really annoying for me. So I don't think I'll be wearing these shoes for sure, the Ultra. So that leaves me with the Nike Pegasus Trail 3. And these are the shoes I actually got for the Grand Canyon because after I did Mission to Chaos, I was like, I'm not gonna wear those shoes for the Grand Canyon. I'm gonna find me a pair of shoes that are a little bit bigger because I felt that these shoes were a little bit too small for me even though I wear a size 12. I think on trails, I really need a pair of shoes that is a little bit bigger. So that's why these shoes are a size 13. And it worked well for me during the Grand Canyon and hopefully it'll also work well for me during this Rocky Raccoon 100K. So you can see right here, this is a size 13 shoe. I've been running a bunch of miles. I probably ran close to 100 miles. Not ran. Ran walked about 100 plus miles with these shoes already. I actually did my 15 mile run with these as well. And I never ran with these shoes. I've only hiked with them. And from what I felt when I ran with them, they felt awesome as well. They do have that thick Nike React foam. And if you guys know my channel, if you guys been following my channel, you guys know that I usually run in super minimalist shoes like these Zero shoes. So this basically has no foam in it. And this one is almost like a Hoka shoe. And I remember when I did run in V-Room Five Fingers or some other, you know, similar shoes like Sescora's for my 50 miler, I would always see people in Hoka shoes. And I was like, man, those look so comfortable right now. And I'm gonna tell you, this shoe with this Nike React foam is really comfortable. I don't know how thick this shoe is, but it's pretty thick, close to like a Hoka shoe almost. And it also is a 10 millimeter drop. So it's like, I think 35 to 25 millimeter drop from, from heel to toe. So pretty good amount of drop. And normally I would not run in shoes that have a huge drop, but I've ran and walked a ton of miles on this and I've had had any issues, maybe because it is a little bit bigger for me, they're more comfortable, but I'm enjoying these shoes so far. The only thing that I've heard negative about these shoes is the way that it works when it is wet. So whenever it's wet, people do tend to slip with these shoes. I don't know about this outsole that it has. I've tried to scuff it up a little bit to make that rubber handle wet surfaces a little bit better. So we'll see on race day what happens. It's supposed to be muddy. So hopefully these shoes will work for me. And if they don't, I will switch up to my zero shoes. I'll be fine with these shoes as well. As long as I have a pair of shoes to run with, I'll be good. So I'll bring these as well, but hopefully I'll do the whole race in these shoes if they don't get too wet or too muddy. So we'll see what happens. I've enjoyed these shoes a lot. That Nike Rack foam, super bouncy, super cushiony. I'm enjoying it. And that's why I'm gonna wear these shoes, the Nike Pegasus Trail 3. And I actually got them on sale at Academy. They were like 89 bucks at the time. So pretty happy. All right, so this is the shoes that I'm gonna wear, the Nike Trail Pegasus 3. We only have four more days to go. So Rocky Raccoon, 
Let's 